Hello, and welcome to today's issue of Chapter by Chapter of Eye of the World. I am your host, Will Cowan, and like always, forever and always, joining me today is Mr. Steve Haynes. How you doing, Steve Haynes? Doing good. Hello. Are you getting sick of us yet? We're, do- we're meeting every single day. <laughs> for for an episode are you getting are you getting sick are you getting tired listen it's part of my daily routine now i love it i love I, I love this it's great uh yes uh we are we are taking it uh to chapter five we're ending this week's run of chapters with i think it's actually a great conclusion uh chapter for this week our first five episodes here this is chapter five called winter night and uh this is an action-packed chapter let me tell you oh geez after a lot of chapters of talking and standing around, we get a little action. A little action, which I kind of appreciate. The Robert Jordan didn't really, he, he made sure that there was something else going on because I was kind of, I was a little bit worried that this was going to be just talking for 20 more chapters in this town because I've read books that do that mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's awful. I know. Uh, but no, so uh, pretty much, directly right where we left off uh, from the last chapter, the peddler or uh, the Gleeman. Uh, Tam and Rand are on their way home. Uh, Tam mentions to Rand that other people have seen the Black Rider, uh, but they're going to go home because Tam believes it to be a little bit uh, more safer, uh, a little bit more safe. They come home and uh, Tam locks the door, which Rand kind of thinks is, like, why do you do that? We live in a farm in the middle of nowhere. The closest town is hours away. Like, why you lock yeah, the door? Yeah, you don't ever lock the door regularly. Yeah, why Why do you ever do that? And then as they're preparing supper, uh, Tam goes up, goes to the bedroom, and he grabs a sword. He, like, holsters the sword around him. And uh, Rand is like, what are you doing? What's with the sword? And he's never seen the sword before. Like, his entire life, he has never seen this sword. And, uh, yeah, where'd the sword come from? Yeah, where'd that sword come from? And kind of the way that Robert Jordan writes, this sword has kind of got a, I think it's got like a bit of a mystical feel to it, you know, especially Mm -hmm. uh, later on in this, in this chapter. So anyways, they're having, they're having supper and then they get, they get a big knock on the door and Tam kind of brushes it off originally as like, oh, that must be a neighbor. Uh, And Rand's thinking like, what do you mean neighbor? There's, there's nobody around us. And then as he's kind of like wrapping up that thought, the, the, the door bursts open and out comes a Trollic. Trollics. 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 Uh, yeah, Trollics. Bursting the front door. Causing no yeah. good. Causing no good. I think it's a group of Trollics. There's a whole bunch of them that are they're all coming in. And uh, what are Trollics, Steve? I, th- I, I believe you have the glossary out right in front of you. To We're back the at the glossary, folks. Trollocs, creatures of the Dark One, created during the War of the Shadow. Huge in stature, vicious in the extreme. I'm sorry, vicious in the extreme? Okay, vicious in the extreme. They are a twisted blend of animal and human stock and kill for the pure pleasure of killing. Sly, deceitful, and treacherous. They can only be trusted... Only by those they fear. They are omnivorous so. <laughs> and will eat any kind of meat, <laughs> including human flesh and the flesh of other Trollocs. Largely no of good. human origin, they are... Don't fucking interrupt me here. They are able to interbreed with humankind. Hear that? Ooh. But the offspring are usually stillborn, and those which are not often fail to survive. They are divided into tribe-like bands, Chief among them being the Afrait, Al Ghul, Bansheen, Davul, Daemon, Dijinin, Gargail, Gobelin, Gobel, Gremlin, <laughs> Kobalal, and the Komun. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That was uh, that was amazing, especially the last bit there where you're naming off all the different bands. Of well, trolls. halfway through that glossary entry, I realized that it's one of the larger glossary entries. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean that gosh, like Trollocs are, they're no good. They're pretty fucked up though. That's like that's pretty. 
They they're, just kill for the pleasure of killing. Yeah, they 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 they're they a blend are, of animal and human. They can have the sex thing. with humans. So people are some people some people lay with them. Yeah. Stillborn some, offsprings. Like it's it's Trollocs. They're they mean business. They're messed up. I like the fact that they're not like orcs. You know? There's yeah, a no, that's a it's a cooler well not cooler, but it's a cool take for uh creature minion whatever yeah whatever it is bad guy soldiers yeah yeah so those guys in the in all their shapes and form uh burst in through the door and like are there are there there ones is there going to be like a rat one and like yeah absolutely i looked it up and there's like some that are like foxes and some that are like goats and some of that are like bulls that's cool yeah that's pretty sweet kind of like um animorphs in a way or like or um I got you. It's Very, nothing like Animorphs. No, I got no, you. no, no. I was thinking I got Animorphs. I, I was thinking of Animorphs, but a better comparison, it would be like a C.S. Lewis sort of uh, bad guy. You know what I mean? Like a, yeah, yeah, a yeah. Lion, Witch, and a Wardrobe kind of bad guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, a, like a deer wearing a suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, wouldn't trust that guy. No <laughs> way. <laughs> so, yeah, they burst in through the door, and they start uh, fighting with Tam, and Tam is holding them back and he yells at Rand like, go, go get out. I'll, I'll, I'll catch up with you. And he jumps through the window and, uh, Rand heads to the barn and he noticed that the horse is missing. Like everything, like practically everything is missing. They had sheep that was out there that are, that are gone now. And, it's all gone. uh, it's all gone. And then he eventually, um, he's just about when he's about to turn back and help his dad, Tam grabs him, like kind of shocks him a little bit. He just like grabs him and he's like, it's okay, it's okay, but it turns out that Tam is injured. And uh he has to go back to the to the house to get uh grab some supplies. Is the sword there? I believe the sword is in the house, right? Yes, I believe so, yeah. Okay. So, um because Tam is injured, that he has to go get more supplies so that they can get back to Emmons Field and say like we need help. Um so and he goes back, back to in. the house. And finds a Trolloc in there. He finds a Trolloc in there. And a Trolloc named Narg. Yeah, the Trolloc, Trolloc's st- st- still alive. Yep. His name's Narg. He's, uh, he's just kind I of think, a little bitch. I think he was, uh, I think he wasn't that he fought. I think he was like, because Tam was able to kill a couple of uh, Trollocs in there. But I think he was uh, waiting. He's like, because he has a line in the book where he goes like, other Trollocs dumb. Me smart, Narg is smart. Me wait for more people, and then I and I scare you. Rar. Clearly, Narg <laughs> is smart. Yeah, very smart. And uh, that's where Rand is in the house, and he finds the sword on the ground, and he's like, "Back away, back away." And Narg is saying that like the Midral wants to talk to you. Midral, Mirdral, 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 Mirdral. He says that the mirror draw wants to talk to him. And I'm guessing that the mirror draw is the black rider that we've been talking about earlier. You're guessing or you've read ahead 20 chapters. I've read ahead. I'm sorry. So <laughs> I'm guessing that, uh, that it's the black rider. I think. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. I read ahead a little bit, but yeah, the, the mirror draw is the, uh, is the black rider. That's, uh, that, was waiting for them and he's kind of in charge of the Trollocs. They're the mirror draws kind of like uh they're the commanders, they're the sergeants, lieutenants, whatever, of Trolloc bands. Especially in service to the Dark One, quote unquote. Well the question is, well, do we have a glossary entry for Mirdrell? Do we have a glossary entry? We got one. Ooh. And it looks like the pronunciation here is Murdrail. I don't like that at all. Murdrail. Nerd trail. Murd trail. Mer- mer- Just read the glossary. Murd trail. Creatures of the Dark One. Commanders of the Trollocs. Twisted offspring of Trollocs in which the human stock used to create the Trollocs has resurfaced, but tainted by the evil that made the Trollocs. Physically, they are like men, except they have no eyes, but can see like eagles in light or dark. They have certain powers stemming from the Dark One including the ability to cause paralyzing fear with a look and the ability to vanish wherever there are shadows. 
One of their few known weaknesses is that they are reluctant to cross running water. In different lands, they are known by many names, among them Half-Man, the Eyeless, Shadow Man, Lurk, and Fade. <laughs> Lurk. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good entry. Um, yeah, I like that entry. So those, so they're fucked up. Yeah, like I said, like uh, they're they're commanders of the. So of these the are the offspring Trollocs. of Trollocs. Yeah, they're commanders, but they're the offspring of Trollocs. I think they're more because the uh, the fact in which that the in which the human stock used to create the Trollocs has resurfaced. Oh, so during the mutation process of turning somebody into a Trolloc, they revert back to their more human form because uh, Trollocs are like a combination of human and uh, animal. Yes, but they were revert- still tainted by the evil that made the Trollocs. So physically, yeah. they're still like men, but they don't have eyes. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, Narg is like, I'm going to make you wait for Mr. Mayor Draw to come over here and talk to you. And uh, he's like, nope, I'm not going to do that. And then the Trolloc charges at, at Rand and he's holding it while Rand's holding his sword up. And he, uh, the Trolloc, like a dummy, kills himself. Just running runs into a sword. right into that sword. Not even, not even a hesitation. He just went for it, thinking that he, thinking he was a rock star, and he failed miserably. Yep. Uh, he dies. Rand grabs some extra gear that he finds in the house, and he goes and uh, finds Tam back in the forest. And he 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 cuts up some wood. And one thing that I noticed, or he notices when he's cutting up the wood to for some supplies, is he's he's is he trying to make like a a sled? I can't remember. Um, like a cart. He's fixing the cart, isn't he? He's fixing the cart, right? Because Bell is gone, and he has to carry the cart. Yeah. Excuse me. He has to carry the cart, and he's uh whacking the he's whacking some wood with the sword, and the sword doesn't dull. When yeah, he notices anything. he's surprised that it's still razor sharp. That's yeah. So like I said earlier, where there's some mystical properties to this to this sword. There you have <clears> it, people. Yeah, it, and it, and even when like um, when the sword is brought out. And he asks, like, he he specifically mentions that the sword, he's like, oh, don't worry about the sword. It's not worth anything, and it's not important. Well, guess yeah. what? That means that it's definitely important. It, definitely important. Definitely worth a lot. Yeah. When, whenever something, something to take from any storytelling at all is when somebody said that's not important, it's probably important. It's probably important. <laughs> So he loads uh, Tam up onto the cart, who's uh, who's get, who's starting to lose consciousness. He's getting a fever, a fever. Um, from I think he was cut by a Trolloc sword, and this kind of reminds me again of Ring. Like you know how Frodo was kind of like getting all poison bleh. blade. He was ploy- Yeah, they had poison blades. So Tam's get, is kind of in that sense, and uh, that's more or less. That's basically where the chapter leaves off big cliffhanger yeah they're out in the they're out in the forest and they got not a pot to piss in and they're being hunted yep specifically Rand. And tam is hurting and tam is hurting and they gotta get to Ammon's field and that is where we leave off before we get to chapter six um yeah uh i i like this chapter a lot actually this is uh this is probably the most action we've got in this series so far and he handles it like Robert Jordan ha- handles action like quite well. Like it, yeah. it, it does pick up. He doesn't like slow down to describe too much like he usually does in this. Yeah, no, it was a it was a fun chapter, especially after a few chapters of just world building and, and character development. Yeah. Yeah. And talking. And it was talking. good to get some Trolloc action. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that pretty much wraps up this chapter for us today. Uh, we'll be back, I believe it will be next week, next Monday, Yep. with uh, chapter six. Chapter six being, can't remember. I don't have that. But yeah, thanks a lot for uh, if you're sticking with us, guys. And if you're into this, uh, soon we'll, we'll get some, we'll, we'll get some, uh, some emails open, some Twitters. So if anyone has any suggestions or questions or anything or wants to be a part of the show in any way can uh, reach out to us and maybe we can make that happen. Thanks for listening, guys, and we'll see you next time on Chapter by Chapter.